Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. The world's watchmakers may be in trouble as teenagers increasingly look to their mobile phones rather than their wrists to tell time. That's one of the surprising findings of an ongoing study of how digital technology is changing consumer behavior around the world. It was part of a presentation at the Advertising Research Foundation's Audience Measurement 3.0 conference in New York this week. We think teenagers will never read an offline newspaper, but will read some magazines for the rest of their life. We think they'll never own a landline phone, and something we discovered by accident, teenagers may never wear a watch. And now they're telling time from their mobile phones, and now the entire jewelry industry, not to mention the economy of Switzerland, is waiting to the answer to the question, will they start wearing watches when they get into their 20s? Well, our sample eight years in, we have people in their mid-20s who are teenagers, shows they're still not wearing watches. The watch industry may be in real trouble. The Center for the Digital Future has been studying worldwide behavior patterns in the 12 to 24 age group for almost eight years. Something that frightens me about teenagers, but they seem to outgrow it as we track them, is they trust unknown peers more than actual experts. The people they meet on these sites, even though on these social networking sites, even though they don't know them, they argue they're just like them. They don't have any self-interest. And to the degree that an unknown peer really is a peer, they may be right. We also know that unknown peer can be a predator or scammer or somebody else. And as they get into their 20s, they begin to trust experts again. Dr. Cole also noted that online social networking practices are dramatically altering the daily communication realities of vast numbers of consumers. Community literally is at the center of everything on the web. We think it should be built into portals. I said in the beginning, it's the first thing that's caused people to log on to the web more than to check their email. We think community is the real deal, so much so that at the Annenberg School, we took $5 million and created the first program in the country, if not the world, where you can actually get a degree in online communities. We, don't think, we think teenagers move through communities as a passing fad. We think the importance of communities is only growing and for those of you who are not paying attention or are older than teenagers, that's their, one of their primary methods of communicating with each other now is through communities. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age of New York.